This video gives you a brief introduction to show you how to use the graphing features on your Casio GDC. So we switch on and come to the main menu. The item we want is number 5, the graphing menu, so we can either press the number 5 or scroll down to 5 and press EXE and we come to the graphing screen. The first thing you have to do is to enter the function that you want to use on there. Uh, and we're going to enter first of all the graph 2x minus 5. We already have the y equals part. This says y1. The numbers here are just for different types of equations. So this is our first y value and that's going to be 2x minus 3. We use the 2. Now for x, make sure you use this button here just below the alpha button to get your variable x. So 2x minus 3. Press exe to store that. And then if we click on draw here, draw will appear on your calculator just above the F6 button. So press that and we have the graph of 2x minus 3 drawn. Okay. We can switch back between the two screens just by pressing the F6 button again and that takes us back to the equation screen. I'm going to put another equation in here and I'm going to type in the equation 4 minus and again x here and press EXE to store that. Now, when I press F6, this will draw both of the graphs on the same axes. Um, and if I switch back, we can see the colors. The red one is the 4x minus 6. So here are our graphs. Um, I don't like the scale particularly because I can't see the y-intercept of the red graph. So I'm going to change the scale. To do this, you use the view window option, which appears on your calculator as V window. It's above the F3 button, but it's on the shift. It's yellow, so it should be shift F3. In the equation window, you would need to press shift F3. But in the graph window, you don't need to press the shift button. It automatically goes to the view window. So if we just press F3, we come to the view window. There's a lot of information on here. The most important ones are X min, X max, and lower down, y min, y max, and that shows the minimum and maximum values for our x and y axes. This is setting at the moment on the initial setting. This is the default setting for the graphs, but there are others you can do, and you can manually type what you want the settings to be. We're just going to use a different setting, which is standard. This is on the F3, so if I press F3, you'll notice that the min and max values change to negative 10 and positive 10. Let's exit out of that and F6 to draw our graphs. And now we can see clearly the intercepts. We've got a bit of a bigger picture of where the graphs are. I'd like to know where these graphs intersect. Well, there's an option using G-Solve. This is the graph solver. Again, it's on Shift F5, but because we're in the graphing window, we can just click on F5 and it will go straight to G-Solve. G-Solve will bring up a series of menu items. There's five on the bottom, but F6 will allow us to scroll along to more. But the one I want, Intersect, is already here at F5. So I'm just going to press F5, and there's my intersection point. And the coordinates of that are 2.3 recurring and 1.6 recurring. That's just a brief introduction to what you can do with your graphical calculator. There are a lot more options, and I'd urge you to play around with that to plot some other graphs, um, change your view windows, and see what effects you get.